What's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. Today's a different little video today, so we're going to be doing a reaction video. I've been wanting to do them for a long time, and some of my favorite people that I follow on YouTube are reaction people. Uh, number one of which is Tyrone Magnus. If you don't follow him, he's hilarious, he's awesome. Follow him, I'll put his links in the description below. But uh, I always wanted to do them, they're so much fun, and I mean, we kind of already do that anyways, we react to whatever we watch so some stuff I want to record it and get my uh, you know feedback and my reaction and uh, you know how I get about them so the first thing we're going to be doing as you can see the title of this video is the Chosen series so I've already watched this series before disclaimers a couple disclaimers real quick this will be my third time watching this series it's great it I think is the best depiction of of uh, the Bible story and Jesus and the disciples, everything like that. It's just so real. Um, unfortunately, uh, second disclaimer is that by doing this, by no means I'm saying that this is a religious channel or anything like that. Um, I'm not trying to push anything on anybody. Believe what you want to believe. I have my own beliefs. Um, if you want to ask me about it, if I want to do a video on, on them, I'll do it. But this is just a good show. And especially if you want to learn more about Jesus and the disciples, or if you're just trying to find a uh, a something that's actually done this a lot better than most shows, this is a good show. Um, it is eight episodes, I think. I, I always forget. Um, I think six, six. It's even between six or eight episodes. I don't remember. Um, but um, it's been about a year since the first season came out, if I'm not mistaken. And like I said, it's great. And going back to, there's a couple minutes of this that we're going to be talking about. So if you want to skip ahead, skip ahead. But um, right now, uh, so it's just great. So a lot of times you we have, I think the big pinnacle was the Passion of Christ movie with Jim Caviezel as Jesus Christ. I believe Mel Gibson directed the movie. And that was a great movie. But it can be hard to watch. It's very violent and gory. Um, especially the scourging of the pillar and the crucifixion is pretty intense. And it can be hard to watch. And then you have other shows. I won't name anything, any names. But they kind of paint Jesus as this. There's a, there's a really good song. Uh, it says, how does it go? It says, Jesus wasn't picking lilies with his friends. You know, he was a man's man. Which is true. And I'm not saying they paint Jesus as like some like macho dude. But he isn't like, oh, hello, how are you? Like, it's not like some like fruity kind of person. He wasn't like that. I mean, um, it's just a really good depiction. And then also they kind of go into depth about the disciples slash apostles, however you want to call them. But the, the original 12 disciples, they go a lot more in depth with them. You kind of see their individual stories, not all of them, because not a lot is known by all of them. There's several of them we don't know that much about. Um, but for the most part, uh, there's a lot of them we do know quite a bit about them. Um, specifically, Matthew is a, is a big one in this series. Um, and then Peter. It's really a really good one as well on this show, but I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, it's just a really good show. If you're not into like religious shows or whatever, give it a chance. You know, they're, they're hour long episodes, about 50 minutes. This one is 54 minutes, and so we're gonna be getting my reaction to this show. Like I said it's great. The main reason I'm doing this now it is what's today, March 24th, on Easter Sunday, April 4th, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, April 4th is Easter Sunday. They are releasing season two, episode one that day. I'm really excited. Last thing I'm gonna say about the show, the thing that is so awesome about the show, it is 100% away from Hollywood, its own production, and it is 100% funded by myself, viewers, fans, all that stuff. It is all backed by you, me, like people who wanna see this stuff made, and it's crazy, I think. The first season's got like, what, 10 million views or something like that? It's crazy. Um, you can watch it on YouTube. They have a YouTube channel. Subscribe. I'll put their stuff in the description. And also, you can get the Chosen app. You can watch everything on there. You also get interviews, all that stuff. It's really cool. And uh, really great uh, cast and crew. The director's always doing stuff to promote. And also, they have a new shop, which I'll also link in the description below their website have some new uh, merch and everything, so awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't wait for season two, so I'm going to try and just binge watch season one till Easter Sunday. So Easter Sunday, I don't know if I'll watch it that day, but hopefully maybe that Monday, if not Sunday, I'll watch season two, episode one, 
Only that first episode's coming out because they just finished filming like, I don't know, like two weeks ago. So I'm having to edit all of these episodes, so. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the show. Yeah, Bit Angel Studios is their, their ting. Mm -hmm. Two AD guys, two AD. Papa? Hey, hey. She's sleeping, little one. Come sleep. Sit down. Sit down. Is your head hurting you again? No. Oh, I know. You are thinking of the big new star. One thing I have to say it's is that easy. they do a great job of. No. How would you say? I'm Again, a lot of times they put these shows or movies, whatever it is, uh, what it's just a lot of white British people. <laughs> and it's like, well, there's always a joke about white Jesus and black Jesus and Korean Jesus. If you saw 21 Jones Street, all that stuff. But I mean, the big biggest thing with faith is that you got to look at the historical uh, facts. And that. Uh, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, right? Right, and then he lived in uh, Jerusalem, right? So, uh, or towards the end, I should say. So, where is that located? That's like in the e in the Middle East, right? So you know, Jesus wasn't. He didn't have a skin color like I did. He's gonna be a lot darker, you know. Uh, a lot darker features, you know. He probably has. I mean, I got some decent eyebrows, but he probably had some thick, bushy eyebrows, right? Big beard and like long hair. Of course, that was at times as well. That's why. He, he was always depicted like that. So uh, what's what I like about this show is that they do a good job in casting. And even um, the guy who plays Jesus, Jonathan Ruby, if I'm not mistaken, um, he has a little bit of Egyptian in him. So he kind of has that uh, look to him. You know, he's not just a white guy. I don't remember this part. Try to kill me. Try to kill me. Somebody. Somebody! What's the... Filthy dog! Demons... Left... Inside... Her! Get your mask! That was a great score. Really good. It's not like it's amazing, but it's it's really it's really good. I don't know how they can prove it, but it's just really good and it fits in the scene and like that. Oh, forgot to mention this show is absolutely free to watch. You don't have to pay anything. Dallas Jenkins said on his recent live stream like two weeks ago or a week ago, something like that, he said he wants anybody in the world to be able to say, I want to watch the chosen and be able to do so for free. No signing up for anything, none, none of that stuff. 100% free, which is awesome. So that's Nicodemus. So, number one. Well, that woman that we saw earlier. Pay attention. But, yeah, Nicodemus. And then who's this guy? If anybody can guess. I know, because I've seen this, but. A lot of times, what I like to do when I watch something several times afterwards um, I like to start looking at the detail I start looking in the background a lot more I start just kind of looking at that stuff so I might be commenting on some of that stuff but I'll try to comment if any if I, if I comment at all on the main things that are happening as well but I start looking at the environment the structures that they use stuff like that It's a month's salary for all my sons combined right now. You just toss them out? These are my property. I do with them as I wish. I pay you to drive. You sift through the trash on your own time. Driving you's a bit of both now, isn't it? <laughs> if any citizen asks about my cargo, I must tell the truth. <laughs> it's the biggest pile of dung in all Capernaum. <laughs> that's, that's where you keep the white sardines. 
rid of my sardines, uh, We certainly could get... It was a joke, Shmuel. Shmuel, Shmuel? So like Smeagol. A fine... What do you want, Commander? I'm no commander, but at least you know your place. This is Nicodemus, teacher of teachers. Show some respect. Ah, just the man I want to see. I'm here about a Hebrew woman in the Red Quarter. Let's just say she's been causing a disturbance. Do you have an entire Roman legion at your disposal? Thank you for the reminder, Jew. But she needs a holy man. We are men of God. It is not our custom to frequent the Red Quarter. Perhaps I wasn't clear. Teacher of teachers. You'll accompany me to the Red Quarter, or we'll burn it down with our fire of fires. Please. Are you the Messiah? Are you the Messiah? No, I'm not. Please, tell me when he comes. Please. It's always crazy how um, you have like the high appointed officials and everything of Upstairs. different churches or whatever the belief system, Don't worry, and we took they go to places life. like Checked where those people who are unclean physically or spiritually or whatever, and they're just like, oh gosh. And, uh, whereas, uh, definitely that's still a thing now, but there's also a lot of people who are in the same ministry who are also like, sulfur, metals. You know, uh, they welcome anybody who's sulfur. different from them. And I think that's also why the, yes, the uh, I should say, that's also why Jesus is so uh, powerful well, and so amazing is that he didn't care. Should say, he didn't, it didn't matter what you looked like where you came from. He was like, you know, like I'm here for you. Not just just say like that. He should not demand you know anything I mean? of me. To stop Shabbat fishing, which was already our law, and by doing so was not a violation of my practice. And I will try to help this woman, even though it falls outside of my purview. But do not think of me as a tool to fix Roman problems. I will not continue to use my position of religious influence to benefit those who look down on my people, whether it's you or even someone like Quintus. So, I will perform this task, but I want it noted for your superiors. This is an exception! So can we go now? Hey! Stay down, Simon! Like I tell you every time I see you. Like I tell my sister. Yes. Seriously, I can only take maybe two. One. One more punch. One more and I'm done. He says he's had it. Saying something about your sister. I don't want to do this, Josephat. Can we please stop fighting every Josephat? Because you're jumping. You're trusting me, but I love your sister more than anything. I will stop fighting you. You will? But my brother won't. Your brother? <laughs> I adjure you by the holy angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Raziel, Abaddon and Sheol, by the utterance of all the watchers and the holy ones, in the name of Adonai, God of the heavens.
got a little darker, it's because I, I turned off the light above me because there's a lot of glare on the on the computer screen in front of me. But I think I think it looks okay. Simon. Oh. Hello, love. Don't you hello love me? Why did you beat up Jehoshaphat? What? My own brother. He attacked me again. He needs to know the husband of his sister is strong. Okay, but Andrew had no right to jump Abraham from behind. Where are you getting this? Oh. <laughs> you are stoic and purposeful. You think I'm stoic? Well, compared to me, together we're perfection. Stoic, huh? Never heard that before. I like it. You and me, fire and water. Mm -hmm. I like it. Great um, relationship between Simon Peter and his wife. Um, what I just blanked out what her name was, but relationship great. I won't say anything else. They're, they're great. Us so the it's, it's really cool to see them in, in the rest of the show. Yeah, so that was the beginning of the episode. The little girl was her and her father. So she's having flashbacks again. Thus said the Lord, who formed you, O Jacob. And he who created you, O Israel. Fear not. <laughs> I absolutely love that kind of music with the, the woman kind of like you know, making that noise. I, you ever seen the Last Kingdom show on Netflix? There's a lot of that in the music, and I love it. Uh, like some of the that's like the best kind of music. But that, uh, that's whoo! Sends chills down my spine. I'm just like whoo! It's just so cool. This affects me too. Me and Eden. Maybe you should think of that the next time you feel like taking off for a week. That is so like you. Or playing knuckle bones at the hammer. Or cheating your brothers in law for some easy scratch. I met a guy. Oh, really? Wow! I get the papyrus! Simon met a guy! Well, let's just go hand over our livelihood. I'm done. You're done? As I'll ever be. Good. 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 We're ruined. Oh, now it's we. Uh, it's a high number. I say this based on your tribute history and future prospects. How do you choose to square your account? As collateral, you've listed a missing vessel and property at... All right, all right, sorry about that. What my brother didn't mention was our arrangement with Quintus. You have business with Quintus? No, yeah. my brother's dead. And a year, gratis for both of us. You offered to turn in fishermen? No, not fishermen, merchants. And guess who walks up behind me? Guess, Quintus. <laughs> He's thorough, I guess. <laughs> So yes, we talked, and what I said to Matthew was real. I don't like it. I was uh, Sam, Peter, and Andrew walking out. I never, never noticed that they were leaving at the same time. So, did it work? I'm sorry, Lily. Elias? What? We should talk, huh? Leave me alone. Oh, what, huh? It's going to scratch me too. Oh, come on. Not now. 
Saucy. Not now. I, she smells anyway. I said leave me. It's not for you. Don't touch me. Oh. Lily. Lily. Lily, are you okay? I... No, I have to go. Mary! Mary of Magdala. says the Lord who created you and he who formed you. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You Chills. Oh, fair enough to go The first couple times I've been like, mm -hmm. and then this one has a special message for the director. The text kind of. Thank you so much for watching episode one. Oh man, that was good. All right, so that's the end of episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, of course, you get the introduction of kind of the main people of the show, Simon Peter, Andrew, Nicodemus, Matthew, and so I saw Jesus right at the end, and then, of course, Mary Magdala, Mary Magdalene, um, revealed to us who she really was at the end. Um, you can kind of guess who she was if you kind of just kind of know a little bit, but um, yeah, just a big, powerful moment at the end. Like I said, um, it gave me chills. It gave me chills, like, as soon as he calls her Mary. Like, it gave me chills before, but, like, this time it was, like, um, and you are mine. I was just like, whew, killer. Um, it doesn't stop there, man. It just keeps getting better as the episodes go on. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. All information about The Chosen is in the description below. I hope to pump out some more of these as soon as possible. Like I said, we got, what, two weeks before Easter Sunday is here. So hopefully we can pump out all these episodes. But I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe. See you later.